Hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim Corpus, composer and sound designer, and today we're going to take a look at some updates, some recent updates, to Touch OSC. Uh, there's a lot of cool things, and I'm sure if you saw my recent interview during NAM with Ian from Hexler Industries, there's a lot coming up for Touch OSC. But let's take a look at some recent updates from early 2024. All right, so there's a few different things that I want to show off here for you that I think will be helpful for your template. And the first is the new test button. Now, the new test button came in with version 1.2.8, uh, and it, instead of having to go through the process of turning on your template and pressing play, you can test a message and make sure that it's working. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in Touch OSC. Now, right here, we have just a blank template and what we're going to do, I'm going to add three buttons. And you'll see why here. Let's make these nice and big. And what we're going to have is this one here for MIDI. One here that's going to be for OSC. And then one here that's going to be for local messages. And what we're going to do, we're going to pair something with the local message just to make sure that is happy. But I like my local messages yellow, and then this OSC will be blue. So let's go ahead and add messages. So I'm going to select this one and add a MIDI message. We're going to take this blue button and we're going to add a OSC message. And we're going to take this one and we're going to do a local message to here. It's not a, the biggest deal in the world. I'm going to hold alt down, click this, drag it over and we have this. Um, and what we're going to do, uh, you know, it's, it's not the most important thing. Let's change this. Let's change the property color uh, with red. All right. So that's fine. So with these, the cool thing with this test button is that uh, if we select this OSC right here, down here over our message, we now have this test button. So right in the past, you'd have to go over here and then you would push this button to test it. But now what you can do is just test it from here, which is so nice. Uh, if you're like changing it, you're, we're gonna change this to what a test I'm including space, which probably isn't even a good idea. But you can see I can push this test button. And it's going to pop it through, which is nice and easy. Same is going to happen with this local message. Come down here, hit the test button, you can see local lit up. And we also had a color change here, right? Because we impacted red. And then with our MIDI test, it's not really showing anything coming through. Um, it's much easier if you have something that the MIDI is sending to, to make sure that you know that that is going through. This is just a nice quality of life update, so you don't always have to go press play in your template to test things out. So make good use of that test button. So if you follow the channel, you know I'm a big advocate of protocol. Uh, and Hopefully you know what protocol is, but if you haven't, check out some of my earlier videos that talk more about it. But one of the issues that was always happening with protocol is that you are sending a message from your template, so from your uh, device, and your, let's say it's also a keyboard, and you're testing that in protocol, but then if you have that open, it's not going to go to your DAW, it's not going to also go to uh, Touch OSC. So the problem was that it's being blocked because the message is going just a protocol. So they've added a pass through ability so that your OSC message can route through it. So let's take a look at that in protocol. So to show this, we're going to have protocol here. And you can see that protocol is receiving at 53,000. Let's check my iPad here, connections, and I am sending to send port 53,000. Uh, and I already have my IP address for my desktop set up. So if I want to test this right, I just hit my MIDI and you can see it's going through. And OSC, it's going in here right now, which is great, 53,000. And let's remember that this 
is at 53001. So I'm going to go into preferences and now I can turn on forwarding and this will send it from protocol to touch OSC. So now if I push this, you can see it's lighting up. I'm going to clear this out because it's easier to see. If I push this, it goes in here and then it also comes here. So this is a way that you can uh, make sure you're testing your OSC messages through protocol and then you can also route it uh, to touch OSC or to your DAW. And for me, I find this especially useful uh, when I'm building a template and testing things out. Um, you know, you can still just do the log and test it in touch OSC, but sometimes if you're having a lot of trouble with multiple devices uh, or, you know, when I was making that video where I was doing multiple uh, computers and sending it, there was a lot of wacky stuff going on. Protocol would have been helpful, especially with the pass through. Because uh, you can also then detect, let's say you're passing from protocol on here and then you're sending it to another computer. This way you can make sure on what end is the error happening. So again, just a quality of life fix, which is uh, nice and helpful. So another update had to do with adding the data script information. In February, they added the data script function to MIDI messages. So in here, you can see on their website, a uh, whole list of all of these scripts, uh, which will be helpful in everything you're trying to do and interact with objects. And then the last thing I wanted to show was an amazing new cheat sheet, a Lua script cheat sheet by Kirkwood West. Now, if you've been on the Discord server or on the Facebook group, you've probably seen a lot of amazing work by Kirkwood West, and this is pretty impressive. Uh, they've prepared a whole library of useful Lua snippets, um, all of this information, um, and it's just super organized, which is really helpful. So be sure to go through this, take a look at this information, because I think this will be really helpful for a lot of the folks who are just starting out with scripting. So this is just a quick rundown of a few updates that have recently come out. Uh, and by recently, I mean like in the first quarter of 2024. Uh, there's still a lot of cool things coming out soon. Uh, some videos that I'm going to show of uh, some interesting things with Touch OSC, but take a look at these scripting updates. I think you'll really love what they can do for you and your template. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.